Welcome everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to tip of the, the day, uh, day four. So today I wanted to um, actually go into an answer. Um, when I posted uh, the day two video to YouTube, uh, there was a question asked, uh, Danielle asked a question. And the question was, if you all remember day two video was about that we actually have a nine meter uh, torus field around us, but because of the hormones of stress, we are turning our, um, that nine meter field, we are shrinking it. And um, that because of, we are turning our, um, what does Dr. Joe say? That we are turning it into chemistry. It will be turning our energy into chemistry. And that's the uh, shrinking off the nine meter wide um, energy field, like when we have the heart and brain coherence. And I'm not here just saying that I'm Dr. Joe. If you all want to, I'm just planting a seed if you all get interested in this teaching, then please do uh, subscribe to his uh, Get Becoming Supernatural or You Are the Placebo, one of his books. Or um, if you want to go into a more advanced stage, um, actually get his intensive progressive course. So the question that was asked after my day two video, and y'all can go watch the day two video, um, was, are we trauma bonded with the person that we um, may have experienced some kind of trauma? And my answer to that is yes. Um, actually, um, in the intensive course, there's an hour, hour and a half long lecture that Dr. Joe goes into this whole um, concept of now, even think about the people that have come into your life. Like, um, I remember when I moved uh, here to the US, um, we used to, if he saw an Indian couple, East Indian couple, we would exchange numbers. And uh, I lived in Baton Rouge, so it was a very small city. And you like invited them home and that became your family, away from fam family, right? So um, people that you connect with are also people that, you have emotional um, kind of like bond with, um, like the same kind of uh, emotional, um, same kind of frustration, same kind of uh, um, uh, experiences that you share with. So what Dr. Joe says is we, we kind of are uh, entangled at that, at that point in time with that person and we share, we, we continue to keep up that relationship because not because of that person, but because we are addicted to an emotion. And uh, what he says in, in this talk, the most uh, amazing thing that he says is every addiction is not so much as an addiction. Like we are feeling a sense of lack and incompleteness. And then we, and I'm paraphrasing here, and then we go say, oh, I'm going to uh, gamble. Uh, and then uh, we gamble for $1,000. For then th that's not, that dopamine hit is not enough. We gamble in a, another um, time that we go visit. It has to be $5,000, then $10,000. So it, it's something like what he says, the most important thing he says is every addiction is actually an addiction to an emotion. And that emotion is something like, I'm not enough, I'm uh, lacking something. And because of that, we are looking for something external. So watch out for that as well. Uh, look at your addictions. Because the addiction is just fixing, uh, because it gives a high, right? So once we have that, uh, one glass of alcohol, or we have that one small piece of cake, uh, what we think is the cake is making us happy. And then we associate the happiness with the cake or the glass of alcohol or 
the smoking or the drugs or what, whatever it may be. So, but behind that addiction is an emotional addiction and we are bonded by energy and we share information in that quantum field we share in that invisible field we share information with this person constantly and what i've noticed is is even if it is not that person we will share information with another person that is uh, the same energy the reason being um if i look back and this is something i've healed so i'm just going to this is factual information so if I look back on my life, when I was three years old, I used to have like this ego battle with my mother, who was verbally and physically abusive. So I, I remember um, she used to make me wear, uh, I love cotton, I love the softness, even till today, I love the softness of the fabric cotton. And she used to make me wear these embroidered uh, metallic clothes. And I would have an ego battle with her, uh, not wanting to wear it. And every time she took me out, um, like we were going to go visit somebody, she wanted me to wear that embroidered thing and we would have a battle. So, and I see that like, even as a five-year-old and a six-year-old, I would always look up at her and go, this person it has a double masters, is so well-educated. Why are they so verbally abusive? Why, why do they act this way? Don't they have a better language to speak? But I've realized that, okay, so I broke that bond with her by moving away from her. But then I saw managers that were abusive or uh, somebody else that was abusive. So it does not end uh, just because the attraction or point of attraction is our resentment. Like I know now with all the analysis that I've done um, is my point of attraction, even when I was two years old, and this is what Eckhart calls dense karmic accumulation. The point of attraction is actually my resentment to, and hatred towards abusive language, that tone of voice, that scathing tone of voice and the physical hitting, that's what is the point of attraction. So that is what is the soul, the lesson the soul needed to heal is that it was already born. And I, the reason why I know that it is a lesson that my soul needed is I remember this even as a three-year-old that I used to have this uh, hatred towards my mother's uh, anger so that's what is something that we have to pay attention to what is the emotion that we are addicted to that we need to change and so um, Dr. Joe has this uh, changing beliefs and perceptions med meditation and even in break, break, breaking the habit of being yourself we've talked about it during the Facebook live Q&A uh, he says, uh, think of the emotion and say, change loudly. Think of the emotion, say, change loudly. You may be in traffic and you feel the emotion, like somebody is being abusive. Maybe you're watching something and somebody is being abusive and you feel that resistance, that hatred. And so you say change and you move towards a new self. So th that's what this training is about. This art school is about is observation of our own behaviors, our own, what I would call and use Eckhart's terms, our own karmic accumulation and undoing it. And that that is what helps. So yes, we are trauma bonded with the person that we have this, we are more trauma bonded to the emotion because if you look, the emotion is the hatred. One one part of the, excuse me, one part of the emotion is the guilt and shame associated with the trauma. There may be some guilt. There may be uh, guilt about why did I attract this into my life and the shame. But then the other part of it is the hatred that I shouldn't have experienced this. And that is what attracted it that we had that seed already 
our soul already had that seed of hatred that it needed to uh, learn how to undo the hatred. That's where forgiveness comes. We will talk about it again, maybe on a Facebook Live, uh, we talk about forgiveness. But wanted to offer this tip that addiction is not the physical addiction. The addiction is to the emotion. So if you heal the emotion, and that's why the changing beliefs and perceptions meditation is so important that we change the emotion, we change the addiction. And the second thing is, is yes, we are bonded. And so in this talk, um, uh, Dr. Joe talks about what does it take to atoms to separate? And it takes a lot of energy. And that's why uh, the meditation is about raising our frequency. Um, what I talked about in day two is moving from energy center, not being stuck in energy center one, two, and three, raising our energy so that we are more energy than uh, the particle of this emotion. The um, other part to it is um, another tip that he gives in this uh, talk is as you unmemorize that emotion, we become less particle and more wave. So the more we are in this density of these emotions, like hatred, anger, frustration, depression, sorrow, the more we are particle. And so the more we convert it, we change it into, uh, learn about how to change it, the more we change it into energy, we are less particle. And the more energy we are, the more we are in the quantum field of possibilities of manifesting things and um, more into the infinite potential that we are. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. Bye.